Hello, I will talk about Einstein's famous equation E equals mc square. E is energy, m is mass, and c is the speed of light that is 300,000 kilometers per second. <clears throat> the definition of mass is how much a body resists acceleration and uh, also how much it attracts uh, other things to it according to its uh, gravity. The difference between uh, nuclear energy and uh, other forms of energy is that uh, in uh, nuclear energy when you convert uh, mass to energy the mass disappears completely and uh, there is no byproduct uh, that left at all whereas in other forms uh, of energy there is uh, always a byproduct uh, that is left in addition to the energy that uh, you have created. For example, uh, when you drive a car with gasoline, the byproduct uh, is uh, the gas that emitted from the car's exhaust. Uh, another example is that uh, when you burn wood uh, in the fireplace uh, in order to eat uh, the house, the byproduct uh, is uh, charred wood. Uh, now I will talk about the three conclusions. Uh, that we can derive from the equation. The first uh, conclusion is that uh, even masses at rest have energy inherent uh, to them. Uh, for example, <coughs> a ball on the floor that it is not moving has energy inherent uh, to it. The second uh, conclusion uh, from the equation is that uh, you can convert uh, mass to pure energy without uh, any byproduct, uh, as I have already said. For example, uh, from one kilogram of mass, you can get a tremendous energy that is equal to 21 million tons of TNT. The third uh, conclusion uh, that we can derive from the equation is that uh, you can create uh, mass from pure energy out of nothing. Thank you very much.